Thonk food tutorials are intense. Watching a regular PB&J dramatically put together and eaten has never been more riveting, thanks to excellent camera work and music creating a new type of food tutorial never before seen online. <laughs> The music, of course, being from that magical genre funk, and is called Slaughterhouse by Fonker and Zeki, released on the 12th of July this year. Slaughterhouse would be given the classic slowed reverb treatment thanks to a number of different outfits, which would eventually serve as the basis for the stuttered version seemingly employed initially for a Nicholas II edit by Lac Galle and Tsarist on the 8th of September this year. As other creators would utilise the music throughout the month, many began satirising the trend with mundane work, such as ESM Giovanni and his excellent Mi Goreng on the 26th of September. On that note, if you can find an earlier food iteration, please comment below. These videos have absolutely skyrocketed in attention, clearly appealing to a massively mainstream audience as they further the fanatical Fonk obsession. It's incredible how static images can be made fluid via simple editing techniques, such as employing cinematic shaky camera with zoom on each slaughterhouse beat, making the eating of a meal utterly compelling. Naturally, most of these foods have been incredibly simple to make, juxtaposing the frenetic energy of slaughterhouse often with childhood treats. Fonk is a massive genre with many subgenres, traditionally defined as influenced by 90s hip-hop, trap and house or jazzy Memphis movements. However, the funk many are accustomed to today actually stems from what is generally labelled drift funk, a Russian subgenre that implements cowbells, high bass and as mentioned prior, drifting. This popularity in the Russian scene is likely why Slaughterhouse was used by Lac Galli and Tsarist in an appreciation post for Nicholas II, a former emperor of Russia. In that sense, the funk food tutorials remain an excellent reminder of the international scale playing so easily to the strengths of meme culture, as a trend in Russia can simply jump any digital border to blow up in English-speaking areas. After all, music has always been a language that can transcend any barrier, ensuring the intensity of it can be applied to almost any footage, even making a meal. In short, funk food tutorials brilliantly juxtapose an utterly mundane activity Activity with music usually reserved for clips of more grandiose design, and in doing so they demonstrate an unironic expression of love for the mundane. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>